What is up Stack and Ohana? This is Aloha Stacker and welcome back to the channel and another video. And in today's video, we are updating our full platinum stack with two additional ounces of platinum. But before we get started, I got a piece of mail from a good friend of ours and that is the Pistol Packing Pilot from Fort Myers, Florida. And what did our friend Pistol Packing Pilot send us? Well, let's go ahead and take a look, see what we got. And as you guys all know, those of you who follow Pistol Packing Pilot should know that he is running a 1,000 subscriber guy right now and he has given away one kilo of silver. I think it's too late to get into it, but those of you who are, man, it's going to be fun. I think he's going to do a live stream for the final event. And when he does, man, is it going to be awesome. Uh, but let's see what he sent me. So we got ourselves a Pistol Packing Pilot sticker. We got a holographic Pistol Packing Pilot sticker, number 50. So that's really nice. Let's put that, actually, let's put that there. Let's see if we can put that there. Uh, a magnet. Perfect, because I need uh, refrigerator magnets. My refrigerator, my, my refrigerator right now only has like two magnets on it. So this is a welcome addition. Thank you, my friend. We'll go ahead and set that here. And he sent me a Gladys, the gold glider pistol packing pilot. And that's where he stores his little frack gold. Gladys says, use more eye drops. I wish I had my W. <laughs> that's funny. As if you guys don't know, is that uh, my 2021 W Silver American Eagle Type 2 was stolen out of the U.S. Mint box and it was and was replaced with eye drops. <laughs> Unbelievable, but that's exactly what happened. Uh, so he's making fun of that, but it makes sense. And he also sent me platypusy, and that is his platypusy number seven says eat more fish, <laughs> and that is his uh, platinum eating platypus. <laughs> so that is pretty cool. So this is a perfect sticker for a perfect video. Let's see, I would. Don't really see I have many places to put me. I guess I'm about to cover up some. There we go. Put that right there. No, no, no. <laughs> put that. We'll just set that right. Let's, eh, no, no, no. Whatever. We'll put it off to the side for now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So, uh, first of all, here's my stack of platinum. Let's go ahead and show off some of the ones that I've got. Uh, we've got ourselves a one gram Valcombi Sweets Bar, and this was from the uh, treasure chest that I showed in a video uh, about two or three videos ago. So, that's one gram of platinum. That's my smallest denominated uh, piece of platinum. Uh, to go with this right here, which is 25 grams of platinum of Pant Sweets. I bought these off Silver Nitrate uh, some time ago, or I think we traded for them, actually. We either traded for them, or I think I traded for them for some silver. So this was a good deal for both of us, so these are really nice. Take a look at these. They're serialized and everything. Really cool. I'm not that much into bars, but this was, was a too good of a deal to pass up, so I took it. So let's see what else we got. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, before we get to, oh, this, this one's pretty cool. This was the only Queen's Beast Platinum that I own. This is the White Lion and Mortimer. I'm not sure what the mintages were. I'll put it in the description. So this is a Great Britain. This is part of the Queen Beast series. It's the only Queen's Beast that I own in Platinum, but it is a very nice piece. I also own a Britannia from 2021. So this is the only Britannia that I own. So those are the two British pieces of Platinum that I own. And the rest are all American Silver Eagles. And we'll start with the earliest one. And the earliest one I have is a 1997. And this one I acquired from Guido Stacking during one of his auctions. This one's actually, one of my, this is really nice. Let me see if I can get this out of here. This one looks proof-like. And they don't make them like this anymore. They don't look as proofy uh, when you see them anymore. But uh, this is an absolute gorgeous coin. Look at that. It looks like a proof, but it's not. It's actually the bullion coin, which is amazing. And it's cool because back then, I guess, they came in these really cool cases. So pretty neat. And then following that, let's see. The next one we have in the year series is a 2005. And this 2005 I got from uh, Hero Bullion. Uh, believe it or not, uh, Hero Bullion was running and had some randoms. I actually contacted the owner uh, of Hero Bullion and I asked him what years he had on hand and he said one of them was a 2005. So I said, I'll take that one if you can give it to me. And he said, sure. And he sent me that one in the random. So that's cool. So I don't know if you can do that. I don't think you do that with any other bullion deal. You can't do that with JM or Atmax. But Hero Bullion, send him an email. Say, hey, you got some randoms? Let me know what years you got. Maybe he'll hook you up. Next in the line, we have a 2017 right here. As you can see, most of them are the same and then followed on by a 2018. Now, I collect the American Platinum Eagles, so I'm trying to get one of one ounce from every year. There's a 2020. And we have the 2021 as well. And then the only one that I have slabbed is this one right here, which is a 2019, an MS-70. Perfect. So those, those are all my uh, American Eagles now. I think my goal from now on is going to be two ounces of platinum per year unless something special shows up or the price really drops. So next year I'm thinking I'm going to go with the 2022 Eagle and I'm going to try to uh, acquire the 2016 Eagle. So if you have a 2016 American Platinum Eagle that you're interested in getting rid of, let me know. Might be interested. Might be we can work out a deal. 
let's go ahead and show off the new pieces of platinum and we'll start with this right here so this right here is from sd bullion so sd bullion has a random platinum e uh coin uh they have the best price i think they still do have the best price on random platinum eagles and so i picked up two of them i picked them up uh weeks apart from each other i have them both now of course but uh I bought one and then platinum dropped by like $100 an ounce. So I picked up another one because I'm like, heck, why not? The platinum's already getting cheaper and cheaper. So anytime you can get it under $1,000, I mean, geez, why not, right? Or close to it. So the first one I got was this one right here. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we've got. So we have a kangaroo. And this is my first platinum kangaroo. And this is from Australia, 2021. Very nice. So on the side, you got Elizabeth II, Australia. It's worth 100 uh, Australian dollars. It says Australia. Let's see if we can read that. It says Australian kangaroo. And this is three nines, five platinum. And the reason why they can't get four nines is, I guess, is it's really hard to purify. It's one of the hardest metals to, uh, I think it's the highest temp metal to uh, form. So it's really hard for them to put in coin form. And point, and it does have, believe it or not, some palladium and rhodium in it. Uh, some of the other platinum group metals. Now, I don't know how much. I mean, that, I guess, is undeterminable based on the... Uh, the way they do it i don't know <laughs> but uh, this is my first kangaroo it's pretty cool i mean it's nice this is one of the cheaper uh bullion coins you can get for platinum so it's uh it makes sense that it came in a random but it's cool because it's the first one i own and i and i actually pretty i like it although i do think they need to update their uh their design because this is getting this one has been going on for quite a few years and even the silver looks like that too gold is the only one that they change every year uh, i wish they would update it though it'd be cool if they did that with the silver and the gold too i mean and the platinum too they might as well make them the same i wish they would just do the same for all three just change them all every year and keep them all the same. You know, whatever the gold is going to be, the silver and the platinum will be too. So that's cool. This will make 11 ounces. This will make my uh, platinum stack go to 11 ounces with the addition of the uh, Australian kangaroo. So we'll go ahead and set that down. Uh, let's see. My spot right there. And the last one, the random. And the cool thing about this is they did send me two different ones. Uh, the unso cool thing is I was really hoping for a Canadian maple leaf uh, because they don't have any of those yet. But they ended up sending a Britannia from 2021, making it my second one. So I now will own, I will now have two uh, platinum Britannias. Not that I'm complaining. This will make 12 ounces of platinum. So I've hit my yearly goal. I have no int and no intention of buying any more platinum this year unless it tanks or there's a really, really good deal out there. Uh, so maybe next year, we'll never know. So maybe next year I can acquire a uh, maple leaf depending on the prices. So this is really nice. But the one thing about the Britannias is they did not update the Britannia like they did the gold and the silver. They didn't add the extra security features, which I thought would have been really cool. So maybe next year they will. Maybe because it's really expensive to uh, to produce these, or maybe it's really hard. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's harder for them to do that. I don't know. I haven't seen too many security features on platinum coins like that. So, if you have, let me know. Uh, if you if they have, you know, some of the security features that the new Britannias have, but I haven't seen them. So hopefully next year we'll see an update to the Britannia going to twenty twenty two with the uh, with the holograph little holograph and some of the really small faint lines and I don't know. Hopefully we do. But I really like the Britannia design anyway, so I I'm not bummed. I like it. It's cool. Can't ask for much from a random coin, so it's perfect for me. I really like it. And that is my plat full platinum stack, everybody. I have 12 ounces of platinum, uh, and I plan on adding uh, about 2 ounces per year uh, going forward. Oh, actually, you know what? I take that back. I forgot to show this off. This is my only buy metallic coin, and this is a quarter, about a quarter. It's 0.2419 of platinum and 0.2419 gold. Uh, this seems to be the favorite of most people when I show this off, but this is a really cool coin. Library of Congress. And on the side, United States of America, $10. And this is a PR69 decam, so it's a proof. Uh, this was made in 2000, and it's worth $10 uh, face value, even though it's worth significantly more than that, being that it's uh, it's about a half ounce, uh, quarter ounce gold, quarter ounce platinum, just under each. So I think it's like 0.48 uh, something something, I forget. But this is actually a beautiful, beautiful coin. I really like this. And I know why a lot of people like it as their favorite. It's the only bimetallic coin the United States has ever done in gold and platinum. It's the only one that's ever been done, and uh, who knows if they'll ever do another one. But this one's really cool. I don't know why it's 69. It looks absolutely sp spotless. I don't see. I don't see why this was in the 70. I bet if I broke this open and resent it, it'd be rated to 70. But I'm not going to do that. I like it the way it is. It's got uh, Michael Reagan's signature. Michael Reagan, as you know, is the I believe he's the adopted son of Ronald Reagan. I don't think he's the actual uh, biological son. But either way, still son of Ronald Reagan. So pretty cool. Can't complain about that. Really beautiful coin, and uh, that is my entire platinum stack. So that is it, about 12 ounces. And now platinum is a speculative metal. And I understand that a lot of people are kind of squeamish when it comes to uh, investing in platinum, but platinum is rarer than gold. Platinum is rare, is the new, and I know it's an industrial metal, but uh, with all this talk of a trillion dollar coin, you never know. 
this metal could end up being a monetary metal someday. Uh, I don't buy it for speculation. I like it. I think it's rare. I think it'll have its day. I think it'll continue to gain value. Uh, even though catalytic converter use is going down, other uses for it are being found daily. And if you don't know, go ahead and follow the Platinum Beast. He is the my go-to guy for any questions I have. Platinum, Platinum Beast is an awesome guy. He has an awesome channel. So check him out if you want to see um, lots of good information, news. He shows all the news articles about Platinum. Uh, and he talks about, you know, anything you want to know about Platinum, you can probably find a video on it on his channel. So check out, take a look at the Platinum Beast. Awesome guy, awesome channel. And I also want to thank uh, Pistol Pack and Pilot for these awesome uh, pieces of swag, stickers and all. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, my friend. And check his channel out too because he's got that 1,000 uh, subscriber guy going on right now. He's giving away a kilo of silver. So don't I want to know who wins. I, I'm sure you all do too. So uh, with that, everybody, I want to thank you all again for uh, visiting the channel. Please like and subscribe to the video. Share them if you want to. Uh, that would be really cool, be really helpful. And uh, with that, as always, I want you to all have a wonderful week ahead. And aloha and mahalo.